Hello, that's the 30th of April 2015. Welcome to Essex United Kingdom. Now, the purpose of the video is to show you a little bit about the splice graft. Okay, so what I have here is an M26 rootstock. This is a dwarf, okay, a dwarf rootstock. Now, this here is Egamont russet, okay. I grafted this tiny little scion onto it last year, and as you can see, it has taken has come back into growth this year but the the graft there the actual union could have been better now this is uh, one of the first ones I ever did and to be honest I'm amazed that it uh, I was amazed at the time that it took at all but you can see just here where it has where it has formed and joined together so what I've also done here is I've grafted a variety onto a little side shoot here this is called Irish peach and what I intend to do here is another little side shoot that's come out the side of the root stock. I'm going to splice graft another variety, Winter King, onto it. So all being well, I'll have Irish Peach, Russet and Winter King. Um, and maybe even next year I will be able to graft some additional varieties, one onto here and maybe even one onto here. But uh, we will see on that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scion and graft it onto here like this. So as you can see, I've already took some of the bark off this side. And I'll just tip it up and you can see I've shaved it down a little bit. So... What I've done with the scion here is I've took a piece off like that. So all being well, when I've taped it, it will sit like this. As you can see, it's not actually a bad, uh, with a bit of adjustment, it's not a bad union there. So what I'm going to do now is to tape it with some grafting tape. Okay, so there we go, there it is, it's all taped with some grafting tape or flower arranging tape, basically the same thing and uh, there we go, so when you're doing a splice graft you want nice sort of straight cuts, clean um, no big ridges or anything to get to sort of uh, live wood to live wood as much as possible and uh, then your chances of success are far more likely now obviously to do this I used secateurs, there we go, and the Open All 6 knife, French knife, available on Amazon, very nice, and that's the grafting tape. Now what I also have is my own labels here, so um, it's very important that you mark up what you have grafted, because if you don't you won't know what varieties they are, and that will be uh, very frustrating. So uh, all I've done here is these are cut up milk bottles with a hole punched in with a hole punch and then tied with string. And you can put that on your uh, scion like this. And there you go. We now know that's Winter King. Obviously you'll have to come out with a, a permanent marker to ensure that you uh, don't it doesn't rub off because then you'll lose forever what variety it is okay so <clears throat> another one we have here showed you this one before but this is a Lord Lambourne that I grafted last year there's the Union lovely clean Union very nice and I'm very surprised at this but uh, it's actually got flowers starting to form on it so there is even a possibility that uh, the year after this was grafted the possibility of some fruit. Lovely flowers look. But uh, I'm thinking about taking these off to be honest because I'd rather it concentrate on uh, becoming a decent sort of tree before I... so it doesn't weaken itself from trying to set fruit too early. Okay. Thank you for watching and I will speak to you another time.